Welcome in everybody. Thanks for joining me for this uh, really quick video. Today we're going to go over the module one discussion board. So this discussion board um, really helps us focus on building a working definition for sustainability. And to me, that means one that makes sense to you, one that makes sense to me, one that makes sense to each one of us, because what we're gonna build on is we're gonna build that definition on our own lived experiences and even on the location where we live or where we reside um, and where we've been in the past. So that means that each one of us may see things a little bit differently. And as we'll see in the discussion board post this week, it also means that we'll have opportunities to think about some things in new ways. And admittedly, sometimes that can be a challenge, even a little bit uncomfortable. And if you're feeling that way, please reach out to me. I'm here to support you guys. So my goal for this quick video today is to share a few tips with you for this week's assignment. And we're gonna begin by briefly looking at each component of the discussion board. And then we'll take a look at the discussion board rubric. So welcome to module one, here's the discussion board. And if you read the module one announcement, you'll already know that this week, the discussion board focuses on you. So please take a few minutes to introduce yourself. Why? Well, as we begin to grow our community around the course, knowing a little bit about each other helps us give context to the conversations in that discussion board and even to deepen our learning. So please tell us a little bit about yourself. Next, describe a sustainability issue that you find interesting. This is where your lived experiences and what you've already learned this week will shine through. Think about it. Can you tie in some of the vocabulary from the readings or the videos? Can you apply some of the concepts? Well, I think you probably get the idea here. And then finally, tell us why you think the issue is in fact a sustainability issue. Here again, you want to tie in what you've already learned as you give some rationale for why that issue is an issue that you chose for this discussion board. And always, each discussion board, be sure that you address each of the various prompts, okay? So here we're looking at the second part of the discussion board, and that is the response posts. For the response posts, you wanna consider as you draft those responses, in what way will my response extend or deepen the discussion? And does it engage others in the conversation? So be sure to state whether you agree or disagree about the impact of the sustainability issue in the post you're responding to. Think about the issue Think about the impact it has. Is it a local issue or is it more of a global issue and why? Do you think the issue can be resolved? Why or why not? Finally, what questions can you ask about the issue? I'm gonna focus those questions in on extending the conversation, okay? Also in this first one, um, you may already know this, but there is a part of the discussion board in each of the modules that's called general questions. And this is a space for any of those questions that you think other people in the class might have. So go ahead and post those here. But remember, if the questions are a little bit more of an individual or personal nature, please reach out to me by email instead. Okay, last thing I wanna do before we wrap up this short video is to talk about the discussion board rubric. I want you to be informed about how I'm going to assess your discussion board assignments each week. And this rubric will become very familiar to you because I'll be using it to share comments and to share actionable suggestions for improvement with you. As I go through, I'm gonna look at each row and I'm gonna describe the types of things I'll be looking for related to the module one assignment. So let's take a look at the first row here. That one's called comprehension. So think back to the prompts for the initial post. Did you introduce yourself? We wanna build a community of study as we journey through the course materials. So your introduction is really important. Were you able to describe a sustainability issue that interests you, including some specific on why you're interested in it? Then did you provide rationale for why it's a sustainability issue? That should help you with that first row. Second row is timeliness. Really simply put, did you make your initial post before the Thursday deadline? I want to encourage you though to post early because that really provides us with opportunities for engagement, more engagement than if we all wait till Thursday night to post. All right, the next row down is engagement. 
Um, this one asks us to think back to the prompts for those response posts. Were your response posts thoughtful? Did they extend the conversation in some way? Maybe adding new information, new resources, possible solutions, maybe even a different viewpoint. And finally, the last row on the rubric, writing. Are your posts clear? Are they concise? Are they easy to understand? Did you take a few minutes to draft them so they would encourage engagement? Okay. I hope those tips are really helpful for you here um, as you're thinking about that module one discussion board. Thank you for joining me for this one. We'll try to do these videos for each of the modules so you have a really clear and a quick start on that discussion board. And please remember, I'm here to support you. Reach out if you have any questions at all. Thanks very much. Have a great day.